Hey guys, Dr. Dilip here and this is Canvas Concepts where I'll be talking about the most important facts and information that's required for cracking competitive exams. Today, we'll be talking about one of the most frequently asked topics in exam that's going to be with regards to AML, that's acute myeloid leukemia. And we know that there are more than a couple of dozen cytogenic abnormalities as far as AML is concerned. In that, three are going to be very, very important for exams. And what are those three? Number one, the translocation 1517, otherwise called as PML Rara Fusion, which is going to result in classic acute promelistic leukemia, and that has a very high risk of disseminated intravascular coagulation. Two and three will be called as core binding factor leukemias, and two is nothing but the translocation 821, which is going to result in run X1, run X1, T1 fusion. It's going to occur in young patients and it's going to have a good prognosis as well. Three is going to be the translocation 1616, otherwise called as inversion 16 and that's going to be cbfb mvh11 fusion and it's also going to portray a good prognosis and all these three cytogenic abnormalities are so classic of aml that you can diagnose aml irrespective of the blast count. that's the significant and all of these three cytogenic abnormalities are going to have a good prognosis and they have a very very high cure rates as well